Hello students, welcome to EBS class. Today we are going to study chapter 6 plants our green friends. Next time when you go outside observe all the plants around. Do you see that some plants are small? Some are very big while some are just patches of green on the soil. Some have green leaves while some others have reddish ones. Some have huge red flowers, some have tiny blue ones, while some have none. We do see a variety of plants existing all around us, near our homes, in the school ground, on the way to the school, in the parks and gardens. Do you know why plants are known as lungs of the planet? It's because plants provide us oxygen to breathe. Plants are the only living beings on the earth that make their own food. Plants give us many things. Let's see some of the uses of plants. They provide fruits. They provide vegetables. They provide wood. They provide medicines. Plants provide fresh air, fiber and oxygen. Plants are our friends. Let us get to know the different parts of any plant. This will help us to understand the difference between plants of different kinds. Can you label the stem, branches, roots and other parts of a plant? Okay, see the image? This is how you have to label different parts of a plant. Let us now go on a nature walk, make friends with many different kind of plants and examine them closely. If you look closely at the stem and branches, there are plants much smaller than you, plants that are about your size and plants which are much taller than you. Now let's see what are the different types of plants. Trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. Let's see one by one in detail. Trees. Trees are the biggest plants. They are tall and strong. They have hard and thick stem called trunk. Thick and hard covering is called bark. They have many branches. And they live for many years. Now, let's see some examples of trees. Gulmohar tree, banyan tree, mango tree and coconut tree. Next one is shrubs. Shrubs are smaller than trees. They have hard wood and thin stems. They have many branches that starts near ground and they live for many years. Examples of shrubs are rose, bougainvillea, cotton plant and hibiscus. Now let's learn about bushes. When the shrub has many branches and thick growth, it is called a bush. Herbs. Herbs are the smallest plants. They have soft and green stems. They live only for a few months. Many herbs are used in cooking. Herbs are taste and color to the food. Some herbs are also used as medicines. Let's see some examples of herbs. Min leaves, coriander leaves, neem and tulsi. Our next category is climbers. Climbers have weak stems. They cannot stand on their own. 
so they climb with support of a tree, stick or a wall. Examples of climbers include money plant, jasmine, grapevine and veins plant. Let's see what are creepers. Creepers have weak stems and they grow along the ground. Examples of creepers are pumpkin, watermelon, muskmelon and cucumber. Now it's time to revise what we have studied in today's class. Plants are the lungs of the planet. They provide fruits, vegetables, fibers and many other things. Plants are of five types. Trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. Trees are the biggest plants and they are tall and strong. Shrubs are smaller than trees and they have many branches. Herbs are the smallest plants and they live only for few months. Climbers have weak stems and they cannot stand on their own. Creepers have weak stems and they grow along the ground. Let's see some examples. First one is a tree. Second one is rose plant which is a shrub. Third one is bush. Fourth one is Tulsi, which is a herb. Fifth one is Jasmine, which is a climber. Last one is Watermelon, which is a creeper. Here is an activity for you. Look at the things around you and guess which of these are made from plants. Write the findings in your notebook. That's all for today. Thank you children.